for as always welcome back to another UBL game versus Ray and battle this guy before God ba beat him badly by him before so this time going in I hope just to be able to kind of survive him um, I always say you know I don't need to win and whatnot but I really really don't need to win but at the same time I really want to give him an honest challenge and uh, let's hope that's a possibility so with that said let's see what he brought because I Prep for a think, yeah, almost this thing. Um, <laughs> it's so close though. Like, I was definitely seeing Articuno, Dewblade, um, Stunfisk, Persian, and Terminator and Clawlister for me they make ton of sense. Um, there were a few months I was kind of considering, but at the same time, I think this looks the part. Um, there are a few months I don't appreciate at all here, and. Um, Stunf is actually quite annoying. Um, and I haven't really designed myself to survive an onslaught of hits. Basically, I want to try to come out on top. I'm very glad not to see Sock. Uh, it was a Pokemon I was kind of fearing. Uh, probably more than most of these mons, actually. So, I'm going to start off with Van Heights. Um, there is a small possibility, a rather large one, that he starts off with the Stunfisk. <laughs> And Stunfisk is by default rather annoying. Um, do I want to really go that route? Stunfisk is such a good lead. Um, yeah, with that in mind, no. We're starting off with, like, if I just really, really throw this out there, like, I think Falsetto is my best lead. Um, just stomping on whatever he want to start off with. And also, just want to throw this out there, like to my opponent, good luck, have fun for his work. Like, he is an amazing player. Like, the few. I fought him once, got beaten badly. I've seen him battle, and he has one of these. Um, he's very good at reading the game. Like, on those type of levels, that makes me very worried to face him because he is smart. And it starts with Pancake, and like I said, those type of leads make sense. <sighs> Is it white? Huh. Never considered Shiny being so white. Uh, to be honest. Alright, so... I am banded, so I'm just gonna go directly for an Earthquake. Um, he does have switch hints, But I don't believe Articuno wanna come into this. Let's go for a Choice Band Earthquake. He can exchange rocks. I don't believe there is anything bad with that. Worst play from him would either be... To an extent Toxic for sure, but more likely Thunder Wave. But Thunder uh, Earthquake should do a good chunk. Yeah, that's a defensive one for sure. And there comes the rocks. So right, he's gotta consider me being banded. Um, as leftovers, like he is two at KO here. This is not an area he, or area he wanted to be in, be in. So, do I wanna sit in Dawnrig and just straight up spin? I kinda want that. I have a bad matchup over versus... Yeah, that's the thing though, I have like an awful matchup. Like, it makes no sense for him of sack playing this. Right? Because my heart switches and this is kinda... It's, it's just kinda scary option to provide. Uh, but yeah, we're doing this. Don't break, let's go. I don't believe it makes sense for him to sack play. Or maybe it does. And if so, more power to my opponent, really. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, come on, please withdraw. Please withdraw, I beg of you. Yes. I needed that badly. Two. Throw zone. Right, not the best for me. Uh, depending on his set. The rapid spin here, I'll be able to outspeed him. Um. Freezing Lyric should do a good chunk. I am a Salt this, so I hope to be able to stomach this. At least once. Oh my god. <laughs> so you get the spin off, which is definitely great. Um, next time, we're actually without speed, no stones. So Triple Axel makes 100% sense. Is that Specs? Or is it just straight up Scarf? I wonder. Yeah, maybe it's just Scarf and just does so much. <laughs> well played, well played. Alright, but no rocks, so that's... 
That's great for me. Um, actually, uh, sending Van Heights. Shadow Ball is very, very, very um, easy for me. Thunderbolt is kind of free too, but not really toxic could be problematic. Yeah, we're going for toxic. Because I think Pancakes comes back. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't he? Um, and here's the thing. I have two way or two chances here, but there is no way I can deflect the rocks from here on out. Question is whether or not he wants to reset the rocks. It would make sense. I'm in an awful position. I don't know how preventable this was, but I'm in an awful position. Right, bring a break, falsetto. I really, I, I am leveling here, but two Shadow Ball might have been smarter. Depends if he wants to go for Earthquake or not. Pain Splits. Somehow that's worse. But I do believe Toxic is definitely pushing him in range. Yep, Earthquake him. Trying to capitalize on this kill. Um, he could plane split again. And probably manage to live it. Ah, switch this out. Fuck. To little friend. Oh, Jesus God. Say hello to that one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. And this Earthquake will do... Ah, oh, it's somewhat defensive, isn't it? Say hello to my little friend. Right, singing so Miasma. The only like good thing about Miasma with this matchup is that I should be able to stomach anything but a Dark Pulse. This is a scary game. I don't know what it was uh, what I was expecting, but it's very scary. <laughs> All right, please go for Aura Sphere. Like Dark Pulse is such a neutral good play. I'd be down with that. Water pulls, great. Don't get confused, buddy. I need you. Right. Um. What well, are the switchings here anyway? Spike up. I think I force a switch, or possibly a sack play, maybe. Let's see, Dark Pulse. Is it in kill range? I believe, yeah, it does a lot, at least. Definitely more than I want to. Spike up. Withdraws, which is fair. To Curse to nature, fantastic name. Let's see. Not he is heavy duty boots. So that's cool. Thunder wave this. I wish I could have kept these on the field. To be honest. Yes, at least at least like one. One good thing happening. Um, I have super poor matchup as is this. Surprisingly poor. Um, 
you can bring, bring in falsetto and uh, just play with the idea of daddy spins I just really really want heavy chipping well I could sack play the quillfish uh, I really don't want to do that here comes a rapid spin nothing to it some boost for sure no rocks at least I am able to probably disrupt him a little bit water switch is here double itchin think pancakes comes in or uh, yeah because I kept that one alive frozone okay so I think Articuno is at least gone now that's kind of good <laughs> yes at least I'm not sick though you know what that that's the journey I want to take <laughs> um so I think I freeze Earthquake however I want now, though. Ah, oh, it's big. That was big. Still, Jubilate is very, very frustrating for me to deal with. Panther, and so is this guy, honestly. Um, I think Knockoff makes sense. Sitting in Miasma. You can just Parting Shot, I think, get in a good position. Parting shot or knockoff. Both in theory are kind of fine. Foul play. Uh, I was gonna say probably killing, yeah. <laughs> At least now it's at minus one and aren't necessarily a threat. So I send in Lumen. As my opponent should be able to parting shot. Though they were so aggressive I brought it in, maybe it's consider me being scarfed. I kind of need that to be an option. So Soul Stance here. By the way, I'm playing super aggressive for one reason, and that is that I, I just want to break the team apart um, and stress him out. Though clearly I probably broke apart my own team a bit too hefty in the get-go. But um, so far I am enjoying this. I think, I think I'm putting up a lot of pressures on my opponents. Fruit Ninjas, yeah. There he is. The Soul stands here, um, definitely die by the way to you know, a Shadow Sneak and whatnot. But high horsepower should do plenty. Let's see, this is something to stay in. Hopefully over half. Oh, that's a fatty. That's a fatty. This Iron Head is absolutely killing. Had the wrong berry. <laughs> Whatever you say. It's fine. Not really. Um, Van Heist definitely forces out. A well placed knockoff, however, would be really nice. Kill his Eviolite. Let's bring Van Heist and just Volt Switch. There's no way he's bringing the pancakes. Shadow Ball is so obvious. But yeah, maybe not the change I wanted. I had a caviar berry mainly for be able to chip him down. Let's see. Yeah, Curtain Nature. Nice. Um, like that was the best obvious good play he could have done. Um, I'm not gonna do. Oh, I do good damage. <laughs> I was just about to say I'm not gonna do like a lot of damage, but. That looked fair enough in my book. Um, just my switch-ins are so, so far apart in what they can do. The only like, positive part I had left in me is that uh, I can quake away. But he has sex, sex play. Though Turtonate I think is a sack play. Probably can survive an earthquake too, so... He risk of being paralyzed, but that's really about it. I was able to spin away the rocks, he hasn't been able to reset them yet. I'm I am leveling here. Um, he should be, like I said, fat, fat enough to survive one choice band earthquake, I think. Yeah. 
Let's see, Fire Blast. Would be a shame it wasn't, you know. <laughs> Damn it. Um, wasn't paralyzed. That would be nice. The question is, do I want to take that risk? Do I need Soul Stance to win? Then I got in everything in range for killing besides. Yeah, that's the thing though. Um, I can't risk it, so I gotta go for. I think that freaking. Kitty is gonna win uh, win him the game, honestly. Um, yeah, dual wing beat. I have a chance of missing, I guess, but it's gotta be worth it. Because I need. Well, honestly, I need two things to happen. Um, I can't soul sense, even though I wanted to take the risk, because that freaking kitty is gonna be able to foul flame to death. I don't believe... I, I will not be able to outspeed him. The question is whether or not he wanna foul play or bring in the Stun Fisk. Stun Fisk can go for Thunderbolt or Thunder Wave and whatnot, yeah. It's a big threat towards me, actually. But... Uh, I mean, I kinda gotta do it. A U-turn here. And really hope it doesn't go for an Earthquake. You could actually go for a Pain Split now that I think about it. And if so, he wins. Yeah, he wins. Fuck me. That's, um... I should have thought about that. At least it didn't recover all that much. Huh. I was gonna recover way more. Right to a four switch, hoping it quakes. I think just pain splitting is like, yeah, it, there's no dumb play in that. Huh. Question is, I gotta hope that he is in range for the knockoff. Or should he predict the earthquake? Yeah, I'm going for a knockoff. Um, honestly, at this point, I don't know what to do to be able to win this game. My opponent is just way ahead of me. This charge is nice. Should live it, don't get paralyzed. Okay, so we're in it. We're in this. So you turn here. <sighs> oh, fuck, no. No, 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 damn it. Damn it. Yeah, that one thing did not have to happen. It's not over, but that definitely halted it all. It all depends on the Shadow Sneaks, I guess, from Dewblade. Um... But yeah, that, that's a wrap. Managed to leave the roost, but, or the discharge, but that, ah. <laughs> it's fine though, like this is definitely like exciting. But I could very well just die to the Shatter Sneak, and if so, then it's all in vain anyway. Um, and I'll be honest, I had a great time here. Um, maybe I played a bit too aggressive, but at the same time, I, I was really enjoying myself. Uh, 
I like playing this aggressive and I like the changes I made to the team to be able to do that. I think the team that I had before with Tendula just didn't do what I wanted to. Right, with Stomach this, please, Shadow, Shadow Ball, do what I want you to do. And kill, yes. Alright, so it may be... I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. That static is definitely... I'm glad this killed, by the way, because I think I have... It all depends on the person. If the person is especially defensive, then um, it's an theory of rap anyway. I beat the Claw Lister, which is definitely nice. But my only combination versus this Panther is... Uh, if all switch out and then hope for the Thunderbolt. Hope you don't have fake out, no weird technician stuff. He got good chip on me, that's for sure. Because I am convinced that Persian has good special defense. That doesn't look good enough. I like that. <sighs> I wonder, I wonder, like, he could just be toying with me. This Dark Pulse will do enough. Fuck it, Scyther, like you were the busted guy here. What happened? Alright, no weird fake out, nothing like that. This is endgame, this is my last last itch of power I got left. His remaining mons are Panther and Clawlister. And we get this guy out of the way. So Claw is the last matchup. Depending on his item. He could be Wakanberry. We don't know that yet. We just simply don't know. He could also be a Salt Vest. He could be Scarfed in some reason out speed. I find that unlikely. Says I went timid because of his uh, Persian. So it all boils down to this. Claw versus the Jolteon. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. I have dropped my freaking controller. Come on. Let this be it. No walk on, Barry. You're so dead, right? Yes! Fuck! This... Yeah! How is this possible? Yes! Yes! I beat him. I beat him. I fucking did it. I somehow made it! Oh shit! Well, Ray, GG buddy. I mean, he was the better player. There is no doubt he was the better player. Um, I think I only managed to... No, I have no idea I was managed to live in this. The static threw me off. I'm, I don't know what I was doing. But my god, did Ray put up a good fight. And in all honesty, in my book, he deserved his win. Uh, I think he played all the right parts. I played way aggressive to break his team early. Uh, I guess the only like good play that made sense that was really, really good from my side was guarding, getting our tuner out of the way. Besides that, it was just being very lucky and chipping down. Um, that Terminator, by the way, I would happily have had a fully paralyzation when Kangaskhan would break through. Uh, Kangaskhan was my like win con and I just used it to break apart the team as well as I could and it, it kind of worked too I guess anyway like I said for me Ray is, is a strong really good player this win well, well it's good to be winning against him I know exactly what went down and he was a stronger player here so I'm just glad to be able to edge this out at 1-0 so as always everyone everyone everybody thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this game make sure to check out Ray's side of this battle as I sure he is providing a lot stronger content than I do, he usually do. And with that said, take care of one, right? Bye.